同学们好，我是张老师。In today's video, we will cover vocabulary related to names, including pronouns you and me, 你我 question pronouns 呢 and 什么 We'll also be knowing names related as 姓 last name and 名字 meaning full name or first name. Then. We'll know how to address people based on different gender, 小姐 for Miss and 先生 for Mister. And then we'll learn the question verb, 请问 meaning may I ask, and also a polite way of asking about last name, 贵姓 Then we'll end on cultural notes on Chinese name. So first, 我 note that. This character means both I or me, so it's the same. And let's take a look of the stroke orders. It has seven strokes, and it's pay attention. It starts from the up, from left, so it goes from top to bottom and left to right. 你，你。And again, it means both you and you. The radical means person, and this is how the stroke order is demonstrated. Once again, starts from left to right, and then top down. Next one, 好，好。The radical means female, and 好 is an adjective meaning fine, good, or nice. Pay attention to its stroke order. Next, 请请 It is a very. It means police. It's a polite form of request, like "May I ask?" 请 And then later on, we will also learn that it's a verb can be used meaning to treat or to invite. Because to ask to request usually、uh, involves using languages, so the radical means language. And take a look of its stroke orders. Let's look one more time. It starts from here, left to right, and then top to bottom. Next, one, one. We、we'll、need our mouth to ask questions. To ask. So here, the radical means mouth to ask, and this is how it's written. And note that when we have an enclosure structure, we write the enclosure first, and then what's inside the enclosure later. 你好，你好，请问，请问 This is to say hello, and this is to ask. May I ask one more time? 你好，你好，请问，请问 So 你好 They're both third tone, but ni、uh, is a third tone, and how is third tone? And when two third tones are back to back, remember the first third tone sounds like a second tone. So this sounds like ni hao, second third, but it actually, actually, it is third third. Qing wen, Qing wen, third tone and fourth tone. Gui, Gui. This radical means shell, and in ancient time, shell is used as currency. So the derived meaning from、uh, expensive can also mean honorable. Gui, it's an adjective, and let's see how it's written. So from top, then to the bottom. One more time. Xing, Xing. This means surname. It can be used as a both as a verb and a noun to ask,、um, "My surname is," or "I am surnamed as." So it's both verb and a noun. And these are some of the original form of Chinese surnames. Now let's look at how it's written. 
So we write the female radical first on the left part, and then we write the right part. No, no. Note that it's got the mouth radical again, so we know it's related to, um, to using the mouth to speak. It's a question particle. We'll talk more about that in the grammar. It's usually ask, uh, to ask in a question where the contact is very clear. Ni na and you, wo na and me. So we'll talk more about that in the grammar part. Xiao, xiao. Note the compound final. Yi, ao, yao, xiao. And again, it means to call or to be called. Xiao. We know the mouth radical because it involves using our mouth to call or to be called. 什么? Note that there's not a uh, tone mark on this one because it's a neutral tone. So it should be pronounced lightly. And the emphasis is on the 什. 什么? It means what? And it is a question pronoun. This is the person radical. Let's take a look of how it's written. So left to right and m top to down. 什么? Next, 名字, 名字. You again have the mouth radical. You use your mouth to ask people's name. 名字. So it, it's name, and it can both mean your full name or your first name. So 名, pay attention to the stroke order. And 字, 很好. 你姓什么? 你姓什么? Means what is your surname? And then in a polite way, we ask 你贵姓? 你贵姓? Remember, we never say 你贵姓什么? We only say 你姓什么? Or 你贵姓? Once again, we'll talk more about that in our uh, grammar section. 你 叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? And we'll be meeting two of the characters in the integrated Chinese textbook, but these are also very commonly used Chinese names. Li, Li. We see that the radical is would because in addition to be used as a surname, Li is also a fruit. It means a plum. 我姓李 means my surname is Li or my family name is Li. Let's look at how it's written. Next, Wang. Wang. It's also a surname, very commonly used in China. And then um, as a noun, it means king. 我姓王. 我姓王. That means my surname is Wang. And here's a tiger picture. You can see that as the king of the animal kingdom, tiger has the Wang character on its forehead. That's how it's written. Note that you write the two horizontal uh, stroke first, and then the vertical stroke, and then end with the horizontal stroke. Wang. Peng yo friends. Peng yo. These uh, two characters combined mean friends. And then when they're used separately, they also can, can mean friends. But if you want to say, I have a friend, you have to use both characters to make one word, 朋友. Let's look at how it's written. So this is left to right, top down. I've repeated many times as how stroke orders are uh, used in Chinese. And hopefully by now you get the general rule. And yo, let's take a look. Stroke, one, two, three, four. 朋友, friend. And then we're going to meet um, someone who's male. We, how do we call him? 先生. 先生. And note that this is also a neutral tone, so it's pronounced quietly. 先生 can mean mister. It can mean someone's husband. And then in written form, you can also call someone who's a teacher, 先生. Let's take a look 
of its um, stroke order. Xian, Sheng. Okay, so the female counterpart usually refer to a young lady called Xiao Jie. Xiao Jie. And note again, this is tone sandy, meaning it's two third tones back to back. So the first third tone sounds like second tone. Instead of saying Xiao Jie, you only say Xiao Jie. Xiao Jie. It's used to um, address someone politely, and usually it refers to a young lady. For someone who may be in his uh, in her middle ages or who who is more elderly, we will learn a different word to address them. Xiao, you write the central stroke first, and then the two dots, and Jie, you write the right the left part of the female character, and then the right part. Xiao Jie. So in integrated Chinese textbook, we will meet two people. They are Wang Xiansheng and Li Xiaojie. Li Xiaojie. And Wang Xiansheng, the Ming Zi, Tada Ming Zi, Shi Wang Peng. Tada Ming Zi, Shi Li Yo. Li Yo. Now note that by now you all have your Chinese name. So I, I suggest that you take a pause when you're viewing this video and then tell uh, your classmates or tell even uh, to the mirror what is your Chinese name by saying 我叫 something, your Chinese name, or 我的名字是 your Chinese name. So I'll, I'll show you as my example. 我叫张永林 我的名字是张永林 so when we exchange greetings, there are two ways of doing so. We all know ni hao. So if they aren't as familiar with each other or they may have just met, you say Wang Xian Sheng Ni Hao. Li Xiao Jie Ni Hao. This is more formal as you address people with their uh, surname, their family name, and then uh, a Mr. or Miss. But if they're friends, you can simply address each other by name. Li Yo Ni Hao Wang Peng Ni Hao. So again, more formal, uh, less um, less familiar with each other, um, more informal and more familiar with each other. Now let's talk about Chinese name for a little bit. So uh Xing, surname always comes first. And it's most likely inherited from the father. In some cases, it can be inherited from the mother too. And it is mostly monosyllabic, meaning you only have one character for this xing. Mingzi usually consists one or two syllables. And sometimes it can also mean full name. So when one asks um, others' names, Chinese people usually reply with full name. You include both xing and mingzi. So for example, my name is Zhang Yongling, and if I was asked, 你叫什么名字? I would usually say, 我姓张, 我叫张永林, to people that I have first, uh, when I meet them for the first time. When I'm, if I'm asked, 我叫什么名字? I rarely uh, simply say my first name, 我叫永林. I will always give my full name, 我叫张永林. And then when you address people that you're unfamiliar with, so address them politely, usually you call a man xiansheng and a young lady xiaojie. So let's say if you already know their, uh, his or her surname, you can say uh, Wang xiansheng or Wang xiaojie. Now remember, Wang xiansheng, Wang xiaojie, not xiansheng wang or xiaojie wang, because in Chinese, we put the family name first, and then the way of addressing them. So um, to end, I'd like to show you one of the uh, most common Chinese names, and I have prepared a short video for you to watch.
In Song Dynasty, there's a list of hundred family surnames, Bai Jia Xing. The list doesn't go by popularity. It is derived from the most important families in the empire at the time. Nowadays, the hundred most common surnames cover 87% of the total national population in China. Now, today I'm going to talk about the 10 most common Chinese surnames in China today. Not 100 because we'll be here forever. Wang, or in Cantonese, Wang, means king. Wang is the most popular surname in China with over 92.8 million people with that last name. There are many different romanizations of Wang depending on where you're from. Li, Li, in Cantonese, Lei, means plum. There are over 92 million people in China that are Li's. It is the, also the most common surname for Hakka Chinese. Li was the royal last name during the Tang Dynasty. Zhang, or Zhang in Cantonese. There are over 87 million Zhangs in China. The history behind Zhang is that the grandson of the Yellow Emperor was inspired by the constellations and he invented the bow and arrow. For his fine work, he was bestowed the surname Zhang, which means archer. The people in China with these three surnames, Wang, Li, and Zhang alone, is more than the population of Indonesia, which is the fourth most populated country in the world. The I've showed you the top three out of the 10. And then in class, we'll go over the rest seven. And note that this YouTube video has also been posted on our learning management system. So we'll watch more later. And that's all for this video. 同学们,